because of his story, people will say, I don't got it so hard. I can, I can give a little bit more at practice or I can do better in classroom. I won't be late to class because if Makani can do it, I got nothing to complain about. At 18 years old, Kema Kalevahea was a freshman at Arizona, a linebacker for the Wildcats, and less than a year out of high school, he became a foster parent. Um, my wife and I, we had a small two-bedroom apartment, um, and we had five kids, and it was all my siblings that I grew up with. You know, when it came to, you know, the option of fostering them, you know, I, it, it, it came like that. You know, I didn't have no second thoughts, I just, you know, my wife and I talked about it and like we were, we were the people to take care of them. There's a lot of things that I would worry about but there was never any hesitation at all for myself or for McClenny either because we knew that it was family and, and anybody would do it for somebody that they love so we just took care of it the best way we could. With the help of the Arizona Athletic Department, Kema Kalevahea and his wife Brianna Summers fostered the five children until three were taken in by other family members. That's when the young couple decided to legally adopt the youngest two brothers, Luke and Kaimana, and make the move back to Hawaii. Being back, I think it definitely was probably the best decision so far that I've made in my life, one of them. You know, before we were just day in and day out, we were grinding in school and, you know, focusing on the kids and they had therapy and we had meetings and we also were going through fostering classes and it was a matter of, you know, just it was just super, really, really, really hard, but I think coming back home, it just it made everything so much easier. But easy is a relative term for the senior defensive end. His day begins at four in the morning, and after a day of practice, team meetings, and classes, he makes sure to find time for his family. You know, I'm just always gonna be there for them because I grew up with, you know, not a lot of support. So I know exactly what it's like to not have that, and I wanna give my kids everything that I didn't have. I got a, a bigger picture of, of what or the undertaking him and his, his wife have taken. Um, and he doesn't even flinch, he doesn't complain about it. Uh, he really handles his everyday life in, in a positive manner. And just a local boy that people would be proud of, of, of what he's become and will become. Since returning to Hawaii, he's become a scholar athlete and is the Rainbow Warriors team captain, all while remaining a dedicated family man. The best way that I describe McCunny is just as like a walking miracle and he's just been a warrior through his whole life so to just continue that on was just second nature for him I think. It's so awesome how everything fell into place and you know it was just like I said it was probably one of the best decisions I've made so far.